welcome back to Barbie's Toys, issue number nine of uh, Build Kit from Night Rinder. Let's quickly go through the magazine. Um, we're on issue, uh, episode four, issue. Oh God, we're on episode four, season one. I have got through season one. I'm just going to start season two. Uh, there was many different kits used in the in the seasons and the the lights there's some discrepancies about the lights the fog lights and things like that there's just different types of kits so you can modify this kit into any kit you want obviously one of the main things was the, the scanner the voice box was changed in season one um, Look at that. Season one, they used, they used, it was all stunts and they used so many different uh, kits. It was, um, I mean, look at that. how that's landing. That's going to be wrecked. So we're having to fix them all the time. So as, as I said, there was, there was a number of them. And then after, I think it was season two, they started using um, models, which you can tell now, but it was okay about that. I mean, you could tell about them, but. There were certain programs. I think I think um, Jukes of Acid used stunt cars all the time. I don't. I, think, I think, don't think they re rarely used models. They had so many General Lees. That's so many, so many of them. Because they were they were quite quite easier to pick up than than the Pontiacs. Right. So let's get on with this. Let's get this. What I did say about the, the other issue, what, it's mainly what we did in the other issue, but the other side, we don't have the tyre yet, so we can't put that on, but we're going to do everything but put the tyre on. So let's get on with that. Step one. Basically what we did. This side, we're going to do this side. So, I did have a bit of, uh, a, a few issues, as we say. So we've got JM, again, which is the is the smaller of the screws. We've got a JM. I don't think we can mix them up, so I'm going to get a JM out and the IM. I used. I, I did put the IM in first, so we'll put we'll put that in first this time. But as I as I did say before, it's probably put it in the lubricant. It's probably better to. Get it in there first. Get it lined up. Make it, make sure it's it's level. There we go. And get it to as far as you can. So it's so it's secure, but you're not overreaching there, so it doesn't detract it from getting in there. No, it's not. That's definitely not wanting that. I don't know why. See, look. I'm screwing into that side instead of there. I'm making a hole there. So I wonder if I can put the other side in first, see if that's easier. Then I can line it up better. It's all trial and error. I must have got lucky the first time. So we need to get that, again, get that in there. Straight. If we can get that lined up, see that's going in. Get that side lined up, and then the other side should. Should be fine. Get that tight in there. Make sure it's all the way through. There we go. So that one now, ideally, should be lined up. Make sure it is. I don't want to damage it any more than I already have. That seems to go on in now. There we go, silly. It's just a matter of putting one in first. I must have got lucky the last time when I did the other one. But uh, yeah, just a matter of trial and error. There are plenty of errors. <laughs> 
So basically we're going to have a lot of the frame done. The front frame anyway. And we haven't even hit. There we go. We haven't even hit 10 yet. So next we need the capping like we did last time. And this time instead of putting the wheel on, we're putting this on. So it might, in fact, it might be easier to do this. I just need to make sure I'm doing it right. It goes in that way. So we need a KM again. Another KM screw. There's quite a lot of these in the last build. I think we might be using a few again. So again, we're going to uh, get some purchase on that for getting that in there. Now it's moved. Stop moving. That's gone in. You can feel that. That's gone in. That's easier because you haven't got the wheel on. As yet. I don't know how hard the, getting the wheel is going to be on that side, but uh, we'll find out. So that is, goes in there, like that. Now again, we've got to put these two together. Step four. Put those two together with another KM screw. Let's get one out. There's some purchase in this. Before we try and I just get it straight. There we go. And before we put that in there. Hold those two together and it should, as if by magic, connect the two. And is that a KM? It says KM, but it doesn't. Mm. It seems quite long for what we need, but we'll do as we're, we'll do as we're told. So that's in there nicely. Step five is putting, well, we did this last time. This will, um, make sure we get this right. So that goes in there, doesn't it? And then that goes there, right. And again, it's gonna be easier simply because, is it a KM? Is it a KM score? Is it, is it, is it? Yeah, of course it is. Simply because we've got no wheel on. So why did they put the wheel on the first? I don't know, anyway. Just to impress you, I think. Oh, a wheel. So that goes. Uh, oops, you couldn't see that, could you? That goes in there. Holds that all together. Right, so that's going in. Looks like it. Oh, earthquake, sorry. Let's move it up, right. There we go, that's in there now. Next is step six, which is, again, putting that on there. So, <laughs> trying to find the right position for it. Is that goes in there. You've got to line it up to get the two holes inside as well, which are a pain in the posterior. So that, I'm assuming, is that hole there. So right, we need now doo -doo -doo, KM. Come on, Mr. KM. Let's uh, get that attached. To there, that in there, yeah, in there. Just 
doesn't actually tell you which hole it goes in, but uh, if it do, if it is the wrong hole, we'll, we'll have to undo it all. That looks all right, though. I mean, does it? Does it look all right? I don't know. Right, so that front bit that we we lost last time that kept falling off goes in there. That I've kept safe. And goes in there. And then fits on there. And I'm not sure. That looks alright. Yeah, it looks level to me. Yeah. Again, we might have to uh, sort that out afterwards. So that now needs a GM. Again, we've got quite a lot of GM screws. that and I think that looks level to me so step seven where we're doing the um, the fiddly little GM screws that are inside the wheel arch I can see and uh, there's a couple of uh, holes in there and uh, first one was pretty good last time and the second one was a nightmare but this time the first one is good again uh, I'm not saying a word until we get to the second one so that's holding that with any luck it might go straight in but uh, I've just jinxed that after right so I used the force with the last one. There we go, it's doing it again. Exactly the same. I used the force with um, the first screw. And the second screw, I'm just looking too much of the hole. And if things are easy, you wouldn't get a, a, a sense of achievement, would you? I suppose. I think that's... Oh. That, yeah, I think that's in actually. I did go to the other screw driver the last time that worked. And now I can't even I can't even find the screw to screw it in. There we go. It is in the hole, so it just needs tightening up. Yeah. There we go. Tight, tight, tight. Yep, well tight. That's it. Right. Wow. Step eight is doing the brakes again for for the this side. We've got the brakes done for that side. So it looks like we're doing it reverse the way we're gonna put the brakes on and then when we get the wheel we're gonna put the whip been putting the wheel on. Sure, we need two BP screws. Plastic screws, yay! BP, two of those, thank you. There we go. So it's just a matter of fitting that on there. No lobe needed for plastic screws. Says it getting tight. <laughs> and there we go. Do I have to dub too tight with plastic because it'll, you know, it'll crack. Finally, it's step nine. It's just a matter of putting that and there at the right angle. There we go. So we've got that done today. 
This will be getting put in a safe place till we get to issue 10. So please subscribe, click like, click the bell icon and you'll get to know when issue 10 is filmed, ready, uploaded, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. May toys be with you.